everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I will be sharing with you my semi-homemade chicken pot pie. What you're going to need for this, if you want to prepare two for your family, you will need three pound bag of chicken thighs, one pound bag of mixed vegetables, the chicken broth that you boil your chicken in. You also need some chicken bouillon, and a little pepper. Some ready-made pie shells, depending on how many pies you will make, or you can have the pie shells that come in the aluminum already. You're also going to need some cornstarch. You're going to need one to two eggs. And you're going to need a little helper here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to boil your chicken thighs in water, season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, so now my chicken has boiled and it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain the chicken broth and take out the chicken because I'm going to chop up the chicken into bite-sized pieces and I'm going to keep this chicken broth because this will be the same chicken broth that I use for my pot pie. So I'm straining out all the stuff that I don't want in my chicken broth. And I'm just going to put this chicken broth to the side and I'm going to take this chicken and sometimes I, I do rinse it off because it has all that fatty stuff on it so I'll rinse it off and chop it up so you'll see that when we come back okay so I have my meat cutting board this is the cutting board I use for my meat and I'm using this fork because my meat is still hot so I'm just cutting up my chicken thighs any fat I just remove because the chicken thighs do have a lot of fat I just remove them from my chicken and just cut up all my chicken meat Okay, so you're going to pour your chicken broth. And we're just going to pour, say, a little more than half in there at this time. And we're going to put this to reserve. Next, I'm going to take my chicken and put it in here. Then I'm gonna pour in my vegetables. These are frozen vegetables. I did rinse them to rinse off any ice that was on it. We're just gonna stir this up, let that cook. Okay, so as you see, this is coming along well, and I'm just letting it cook. It's cooked for about 20 minutes now, 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll let that cook. And what I added to that is this chicken bouillon, I guess I'm saying that right. Um, I added some of this to it and I add it according to taste. So just pour some in, taste your, um, your chicken broth, as well as some fresh pepper. Just crush fresh pepper up in there. I already added some, so just stir. And just put your top back on. We just gonna let that do its thing. Okay, so why I have my chicken pot pie filling cooking me and my little helper here, what's your name? Jayla. Jayla will help prepare the crust, okay? So we have a little variety going on right here, okay? I had to go to a couple grocery stores. Now, first you have the option to make your own pie crust. And next you have an option to get some deep dish pie crust. And this will be the bottom of your pie. And then you will have one of these to be the top of your pie. So, like I said, we have a variety going on because I had to go to two stores, they were out. So these are the box of pie crusts and they come two pie crusts in a box. So if you were gonna put it in something like this, two, I mean one box of these will give you one pie. Now I'm making some for um, to go to my grandmother's house too, so that's why you will see more filling 
in a pot than what I'm telling you to use for one pie. So just make a note of that. Also, I did pick these up. Um, I also picked these up because if you want to, if you have these, you can use these if you're sending them off or if you don't want to have to deal with cleaning any dish afterwards. So first what we're going to do, this is just the basic frozen pie crust. And all we're going to do is prepare this by poking holes in it and we're going to put it in the oven for a few minutes and then take it out and allow it to cool. Is using a Pyrex dish, Corningware dish, or um, any other kind of glass dish that you're going to prepare your pie in. And we're going to use these or aluminum. You're going to allow these to thaw, read the manufacturer's instructions, and my little helper here is going to lay these out for me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, it's time for me to thicken up my filling. So I have um, a fourth a cup of cold water. Now I'm going to add a little less than a fourth a cup of cornstarch. And we're just going to mix it up real good. Make it nice and creamy. Now I add a little at a time to see if I need any more. So this is my, let's just say my first batch. If I have to add more, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And the reason I do it this way is so it won't clump up because if I put the cornstarch in the filling while it's hot, it's just going to ball up and be a big mess. So it's already creamy. So I'm going to pour it into the filling slowly and just stir. So what I do, I let this continue to simmer and then I'll come back later and check and see if, he, if it's thickening up enough for me. And if not, I just do a little more. So it's not thick enough. So what I have again is another one fourth cup of water. And this time I'm gonna add almost a fourth a cup of cornstarch. Stir, and we're gonna repeat the same step we did before. Stir it up in there. And this time, I'm going to leave the top off. So from this point on, we're going to leave the top off because we want to see how, how well it thickens. And we don't want to add any more moisture from the top being on. So we just want it to go ahead and thicken up. And as you can see, you can pretty much see it thickening up now. Okay, I'm about to fill one of my pie crusts. Um, we put it in the oven for about five, five to seven minutes, let it cool. And now I have my filling and we're just gonna take it and pour it inside your crust. Mm. Now my little helper here is gonna put the top on for it. And you're just going to rub it on top of your pot pie. Some people use the egg whites. Um, I just think it's a waste of the egg yolk. So I put both on and they're still going to be nice and shiny and your crust will brown. I 
want to share another option with you as well. You can also use your cast iron skillet for your pot pie. So I put my crust in and I'm gonna do the same way as I've done all the other pies. Put them in the oven for about five minutes and after it cools, fill it. Pot pie for everybody! You get a pot pie, you get a pot pie, you get a pot pie! <laughs> all right y'all, the pot pies are done. We have one in a cast iron skillet, we have one in a corningware, and we have two in the aluminum pans to go. So these will be going to my father and grandfather and this is for the house. All right y'all, I hope you all get to try the semi-homemade pot pie and I hope you enjoy them as much as we do.